Oh, boy, this does not look good. Oh, man. Starting quarterback Caleb Young just took a big old shot on that play. Ouch. And it looks like he's done for the night. Kind of this game's getting out of hand. We need some spark. Something. How about those two freshmen? Don't put them in. Oh, Devin. Get up. This is it. I'm shy. No matter what happens, I'm proud of you both. I'd get out there and show them what you made of. Well, Randy, it looks like Coach Jamison has given up on this game. And maybe even the season. Freshman Devin Wade has just run onto the field. I love this move. Caleb wasn't doing much before he got hurt, so let's see what Wade can do. If he's anything like his daddy was, we might have a chance to salvage the season. Okay, boys. Let's, uh, let's go have some fun out there. Well, we got a long way to go in this one. Cal, you know me. I hate giving up hope. But if we don't score quickly, this one is over. And we'll have another loss on the season. And his first look is incomplete. Yep. Hey, Cal, did I tell you I got promoted down at the Rock Quarry? Mm-hmm. I'm officially an end loader operator now. Huh? Pretty cool, eh? End loader, Cal. Third down, Devin to throw. And it's over the middle of Bigfoot. I love attacking the middle of the field. Keep them on their toes. First and ten, let's see what old coach calls here. Wade to throw. His throw caught at about the six. So you know Jason, right? He's an awesome kid. Here's a fun fact for you, Cal. He played a sad clown in the school's one-act play this spring. Oh. Yeah, it was sad. He's supposed to be a clown. He's supposed to be happy. First and goal from just outside the five. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but not much further than that. Second and goal from the five-yard line. Devin to throw. Touchdown! Touchdown! That's touchdown. right! That is right! That is right! Come on! And the Bullfrog score was put some pressure on these post-yellow jackets. Good! We need to make them sweat a little bit more. Start making some mental mistakes. I know all about mental mistakes, Cal. Hey, Randy, have you looked at the scoreboard? Huh? Oh, yeah, we're, we're down. Wait, we're only down 14? Here we go. First and ten and a new drive. Here's Devin to throw. And he fires one incomplete. Cal, I got me a new flip phone last weekend. I'm mighty proud, but I can't figure out how to send them emojis or whatever them call their things. Is there something I do when I'm sending the test messages? Anybody listening know? Randy, how the heck would I know? I've had my phone for the last 15 years. I can't even read the screen. Heck, my daddy landed at Normandy with his dang thing. It's a long time ago, folks. It's about 30 years ago, Normandy. Ooh, nice play by that kid. Can't catch the ball if it's on the ground. Defense looks like they expecting a throw. Third down, wait to throw. And he's got an open man. It's Colts for the first down. Randy, what do we know about this Colt Cruz kid? Well, he grew up in Mathis. His daddy left him when he was little. That just burns me up. And the kid wasn't very good in junior high last year, and don't expect him to be good now, neither. First and ten for the Bullfrogs. Devin will throw. Over the middle to Cruz. It's complete. First down, Mathis. Whoa, that kid may be small, Cal. But he's got pretty good hands, I'm telling you. That's a nice catch. 
first and ten. Let's see what Cutter calls. Way to throw. And he dropped it. Yeah, he just dropped a cow. Hey, uh, Cal, you had any of those uh, stuffed jalapenos yet? They are so good. out of that tackle and that'll work a nice run there so randy what in your opinion is the best team in mathis football history Cal, i love this day now i'll tell you much i want to say my 82 squad i can't it was cutter's 1992 state championship team that was so much talent in that huddle oh yeah even more than 82 I spent a good 18 hours a day thinking about it. We're right at the six, first and goal. Here's Wade to throw. Touchdown, Memphis. That's right, that's right. You show them, boys. <laughs> How's it feel? How's it feel? So Memphis does their part. And now Post gets their shot. Three and out, guys. Come on. Well, that's it. It was a seven-point game a second ago, but as soon as Post got the ball back, they scored a long run. That might be it, Randy. Okay. All right, fourth quarter, boys. Look, I know we haven't won a lot of games recently, but that is now. I won't let us lose this game. Everybody with me? Yeah, D. All right, we go. Ready? Right. Let's right. show this yellow jacket what it feels like to get hit by a cruise missile. Brand new drive, first and ten. Let's see what they do. Devin to throw. And that was almost a completion, but he drops it. Unfortunately, it seems like having a lot of speed can't help you catch the ball, huh, Kenny? Colt Cruz in the slot to the left. Again on second and ten, it's Devin to pass. Over the middle to Kenny Moore. Ten! I didn't expect a whole lot from these freshmen when Caleb Young went down, but these bullfrogs have come out and played with a fire like we haven't seen in some time. I don't want to jinx it, but we might actually win this thing. Well, that cuts the lead to a single touchdown. Oh, my goodness gracious. I take every bad thing I said about these kids back. We might do this, Cal. They'll start the drive with first and ten. Wade will throw. Out towards on the left side. And he got what he needed for a Mathis first down. Jason Wirtz, nice catch, first down. Jason's a great kid. His daddy and I, you know, worked together at the Rock Quarry. Good man, hard worker. Wade in the shotgun. First and ten, Devin drops back. Break, and that is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Bullfrogs! Yeah, we won there, night, yeah. <laughs> Tied ball game. These scrappy freshmen have made this interesting, Randy. That's right, and it's all thanks to Devin Wade. He's the future of Mathis football, folks. No time left on the clock in a tie ball game. Devin Wade has been impressive so far in relief of Caleb Young, bringing the Bullfrogs back from a huge deficit. Can we turn this losing streak around and win this game? Ying 
incomplete. The miracle comeback is just not meant to be. Got a man? Touchdown! 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 That's right! That is right! The Bullfrogs win it! Wade pulls off the impossible as Mathis comes back from a huge deficit to steal this one. Randy, this might have saved the season. I'm telling you right now, Devin White, Colton Cruz, these two guys you watch. You watch four years from now. Hey, you, you really think this will be different? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. And honestly, I mean, what's there to go back to anyway? <sighs> Dick, just trust me. You still got that producer's car? <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh... Hey, Miss Vesco. Yeah, this is, this is uh, Devin Wade. Hey, Dev. Your car's here. Hey, man. Need any help? Uh, still gotta do the dishes. Oh, I'll do that. You got bigger fish to fry. Namely, being on live TV tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'll do all right? You kidding? You're Devin Wade. You're gonna be better than the best, man. Trust me. <laughs> Thanks, man. What do they got you doing out there, anyway? I don't know. Well, I guess they'll probably have you throw the ball around a little bit, get warmed up. And then they'll have you throw that 20-yard out. Bring everyone to their feet. Yeah, well, my arm feels ready, man. That combine really woke me up. That's what I wanted to hear. And the Jack Ford is gonna be there tonight. That is super cool. Uh, guess I gotta go. Hey, man, if you're nervous, I can always go with you. I wish, man. Oh, shoot. You know what? I can't. I got a call last night. Unfortunately, somebody dropped out, and I have to go to that. Uh, what? What do they call that again? Super Regional Combine! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Crazy, right? Oh, Dallas, two weeks. I told you, man. <laughs> I t Guess I gotta go. Who'd have thought, Dev? Two guys from Mathis making it this far. Huh? This guy's impatient. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Take your time. I'll tell him you're coming. Thanks, man. Before you were born, this was my prized possession <laughs> for my perfect game in high school. It's seven touchdown pop warning game. <laughs> I love that Colt had you autograph it. I know you don't remember much about it, but your mama loves you so much. You did it, son. You did it. Your first big win. 
bring the game ball home and put it right in here. <laughs> Love that. Welcome to Longshot. Ah, thank you. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Can you, uh, can you back up a bit? Oh, you'll get used to that. Yeah, I ain't so sure. Oh, you will. Let's get you settled. Okay. What are you up to? You'll see, one sec. You guys ready for Devin? Devin? Up the ramp. But ready for what? How could you possibly do this? Just, just... Devin, wait! I have waited long enough. You remember how we went to six regional what to do's this before we found Devin? Yes, and? You know what? I don't want to ruin the surprise. Please welcome the host of our show and legendary coach, Jack Ford. <laughs> I'm Jack Ford, and tonight we're going to be introducing you to four quarterbacks, each one brought here thinking he was the lone long shot. What? But after scouring all six regional combines, it was clear that there were four quarterbacks who were worthy of starring in this show. They can't do that. Ross, you didn't. I did. I so did. Four of you will all battle it out on live television, all for the opportunity to work with me in our state-of-the-art facility in your quest to go from long shot to an NFL roster. You're going to be put through a series of tests where you can prove to me that you've got what it takes, and there isn't much time to impress. One of you is heading home tonight. I know you couldn't trust these people. You're just lucky they didn't want you. <sighs> First, though, Let's introduce our long shots. The University of Kentucky standout who injured his knee his junior year. It's Tredarius Johnson. A backup at Wisconsin. It's Josh Butterly. A starter at Bowling Green, considered a system quarterback. It's Mike Schmitzniak. And a freshman starter at Texas who walked away from football three years ago. It's Devin Wade. Now, I've spent the past week studying tape on all of you. And for some, this was a good thing. For others, it raised more questions than answers. And two of you will answer those questions right now. Josh Butterly, step forward. Devin Wade, please step forward. The producers of Longshot have given me carte blanche to cut one of you right out of the gate. But between the two of you, there wasn't enough tape for me to decide. So this is your chance to show me something right now. Josh Butterly, we'll start with you first. Oh, 
was that? That's not what we talked about. I know. It's so much better. And how is that going to tell us who the better football player is? I leave that to you. You're back on. It's simple, gentlemen. You will now be tested on arm strength and accuracy. Avoid the obstacles and score as many points as you can in the allotted time. You have 30 seconds. Higher point total wins. Ready? Begin. Josh Butterly, unfortunately, your quest to be our long shot ends here. Best of luck. 
The rest of you, get some rest. Tomorrow, two more of you are going home. What was that? Ah, uh, that's what I like to call amazing television. They didn't name me executive producer for nothing. Vice presidency, here I come. But those guys had no idea. I know, right? That was the best part. Did you see the look on their faces? Hilarious. Don't doubt it. Oh, I'm blowing up. Spence, buddy. Did you hear that whole exchange? Did you know? Look, Ross... Ross knows what he's doing. Wade, Smizniak, Johnson. Today, we're going to test you on mind, body, and intangibles. And after these drills, one of you will be cut, so give this everything you've got. Devin, since you had the least amount of tape to review, you'll kick things off for us. Devin, welcome to the play calling assessment. An NFL quarterback must be able to call plays in the huddle. And I'm here to see if you have the ability to pull that off. When I worked with Big Ben, it was like he knew what I was going to call even before I called it. And that's one reason that he's so successful. Now, here's how it works. I'll call a play into your headset, and you have to call the play back to me in the correct order. Now, your ability to remember these plays will have a big impact on whether or not you stay on the show. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Strong eye twins. Flex dagger, X dig, Y shallow, Z go. What's the first part of the play? Strong eye twins. Nice job. What's the next portion? Flex dagger. Good, next. Y shallow. That's not going to get it done. Single back, ace pair. Y stick, X slant, Z go, U flat. What's first? Single back, ace pair. Great. Next. Y stick. Yep. Keep going. Excellent. Next. Z go. Finally. U flat. Keep it up. Gun. Bunch weak, double trail. X go, Y dig, Z shallow. All right, last play. What's the first section? Gun bunch weak. Excellent. What's next? Double trail. Yep. Y. Get your head on straight. Well, that's the end of the play call assessment, and you did about as well as I expected you to. If I were you, I'd get ready for the next challenge. Hey, man, you're right. How'd it go in there? Shoot, man. I don't know. I think I did good, but... That guy's just so tough to read, you know? Any advice? Yeah, if you don't know the answer, don't guess. Devin, come in. All right, man. Good luck, bro. 
Come and have a seat. It's time for the football IQ assessment. Now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions that I'd expect any NFL quarterback prospect to know. You ready? What position is highlighted on the screen? Uh... Safety. Good. Who's your hot receiver on this? He's right there. Okay. What personnel are we in on this play? Twenty-one? Uh... Okay. Well, there's not much of a surprise there. Head out to the practice field. We'll take a look at you out there. If you don't mind, I'll stick around, see if you can maybe try to match what I did. Whatever, man. Knock yourself out. <clears throat> Devin, hustle up. It's time for the field test assessment. Now, I'm going to evaluate your timing and your accuracy as you throw a variety of routes. Players like Aaron Rodgers are as great as they are because they know where to throw the ball and they know when to throw it. And if you can't do that, then you will not make it as a quarterback at any level. Got it? Now that the assessments are complete, it's time for me to sit down and carefully evaluate each of you on tape. There's some good. And there was a lot of bad out there today. I got a lot to think about. I'll see you tomorrow. I've evaluated your performance, and middling will not cut it in the NFL. For Darius Johnson, unfortunately, your quest to be our long shot ends here. Best of luck. Wade, Schmizniak, the two of you have shown the capacity to challenge for a spot in the NFL. 
But now, it comes down to intangibles. And I'm going to meet with each of you one more time. And this is going to determine who will be Longshot's leading man. Coach. How's it going? Don't sit down. Get under center. I want to hear your cadence. Let's go. Um, you want me to... That's your center. Let me hear your cadence. Okay. Uh, blue 80. Blue 80. <laughs> All right. Give me a play that you remember calling in college. Coach, I'm, I'm not really sure why this matters. This is the attitude you're going to bring to the show? No. You ever call plays before? Devin, let me ask you something. Why are you here? Because I love football. Every idiot in the stands loves football. Why are you here? Mike, can I help you with something? Take a seat, Mike. Devin. Yeah, can you get the door? Just talked about how much he loves my tape. So. It's not about who's the better player. It's about who will make a better show. Look, I'm telling you that Smizniak is your safer choice. What is safe about a guy whose last name will literally break your auto, correct? Besides, you're the one that said Wade had a huge lopsided. It's upside. Look, Wade's got a special arm, but he hasn't called plays at any level. Calls? It's all text messages these days anyway, am I right? Wade is miles behind. I don't see how I can get him where he needs to be with five weeks until the draft. Yeah, looks like you hired the wrong guy. Well, I'm the wrong guy? I won a Super Bowl. As an assistant coach. I sent my quarterbacks to the Pro Bowl 17 out of the 20 years that I was in the league. No, circumstantial. I was supposed to be the football guy. You're supposed to run the show. That's the dynamic we agreed to. Is it? Is it, Jack? Because, um, I do believe that this is your autograph on this contract, is it not? I give up. Oh, come on, Jack. Wade's father's dead, his mother's way dead, and now Jack Ford is going to abandon him, too? That's okay. That's fine. Go. Julia, get Bill Cowher on the phone. Jack's going back to his NFL job. Oh, wait, I forgot. No one will hire you. Okay, okay, stand down, Phyllis, please. Fine. But it's got to be my way. Start. Great! Keep... He's back in. I'm sorry, I... I'll be on set in five minutes, but you keep that lunatic away from me. We're almost ready for you guys. No offense, but what's a hold up? Be the best man win. Yeah. Welcome back to Longshot. I got a tinkle. But I'm too nervous to move. Me too. This decision wasn't an easy one. Both of you are worthy candidates, but based on intangibles, one of you deserved it more. Oh, 
Oh, no. Dude! Devin Wade. Congratulations. You're our long shot. I told you he could do it. I'm sure they'll find some way to screw him over. You just watch. Yeah, I'll watch him be the long shot. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, hey, baby! Okay. Ah. Okay, come on, that's, that's enough. That's enough. I knew you could do it, Dan. We're the long shots, baby! We're the long shots! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Let's take a look back at Devin Wade's long shot jerk. Gotta be kidding me. Hey, hey, good luck, dude. It's by intangibles they need dead parents, huh? Good luck. We've made it this far, but don't get too comfortable. More than a big arm, it's been an effort for the guy. Tomorrow the real work begins. Yes, sir, Carl. Ah, coach. Yeah, I just wanted to say it's a real honor to... Don't you put the phone away and dump the food? This isn't daycare. We're here to work. Yes, sir. Now, there's not a lot of film on you, so I want to start by looking at your the footage of your final college game. I need you to focus. Yes, sir, Coach. All right, looks like you got Cruz in the slot here. Why'd you force the ball to him? I, th I thought he was open. No, you thought he was open or you saw he was open? Because I can see your eyes. Looks like you're throwing blind over the middle. Well, I mean... Well, Colt's always a safe bet, so... Yeah, well, there's no such thing as always a safe bet. I don't care if Antonio Brown's running the routes. Why not take the sack? I don't know. I just wanted to make a play. Yeah, well, you did. For the other team. Down 21 in a downpour on the wrong side of the field. What... What's the upside you complete that pass? A seven-yard gain? Yeah, I, I guess so. Seven picks in three and a half games. There's no guessing, Devin. The tape always tells a story. Yes, sir. Now, we're going to start from zero. You haven't taken a snap in three and a half years. And we're going to find out what our base is, and we can advance as quickly as you are capable. Got it? Yeah. So am I right in assuming that you know defensive and offensive formations since you've Played high school football in Texas? Of course. You sure? Let's find out. Now, what formation is that offense in? It's single back. Of course it is. You had me worried for a minute. Let's move on. Now, where's the safety in this formation? There. Nope. That is definitely not the safety. Not even close. Well, I've seen enough for this morning. Let's meet back up this afternoon on the practice field. Okay, now that we've spent some time identifying matchups, Let's apply that to the field. And we'll do that by calling a play, and then we'll take a closer look at the matchups we can exploit. Wait, we're, we're calling plays? I've never done that before. UT, the coach, just held up little pictures on the sideline telling me what to do. Same idea. Except in the NFL, it's more involved. You think of it as a recipe for an entire offense. One word gives you the formation to line up in. Another one tells a receiver which route to run. It's as simple as that. Okay. That doesn't seem so hard. Where it gets hard is when these play names become long and complicated. So I'm going to give you a play, and I want you to repeat it back to me in the same way that you would deliver it in the huddle during a game. Okay. Okay, ready? 
Let's go with I Pro Bench. X out. Z post. Y option. Wait, what? Hold on. It's easy. Start with the first word that's usually the formation in most systems. I Pro. Good. The next part is usually the name of the play concept. This tells everyone what their responsibilities are. The line, tight end, etc. Bench. Right. That tells everybody what to do. Why, option? Try again. I pro bench. X out. Z post. Y option. I pro. Good. Next. Bench. Yep. Keep going. Z post. Try again. Have you been listening? Let's just let's just call it a day. I've had enough. You wanted to see me? Yeah. Somehow you've managed to take all the excitement out of America's most exhilarating game. I've got five cameramen filming a guy reading diagrams. The formations. They probably are. Walk with me, Jack. Whoa. It's time to take the training wheels off. Training wheels? We just got started. Devin's gonna be playing a full-blown game on live television. 32 scouts, 100 NFL teams will be there, a media blitz. It'll be the biggest live TV event since Neil Armstrong landed on the moon! When? I think it was 1969. No, I meant the full-blown game. We're still talking about that. It's in two weeks. Against who? That's the best part. <laughs> no. I want it to be a surprise. Look, he's not ready. You're setting this kid up to fail. Ah, you'll figure it out. And if you don't, you'll never work again, Jack. Yeah, but two weeks? You know, when you said we were starting at zero, I didn't realize we would be suddenly going 100 miles an hour. All right, well, neither did I. I guess I'll be ready. Look, Devin, it's important to... Every challenge that we are presented with is an opportunity. Yeah. Jack? Devin, how could you not tell me how crazy amazing this place is, man? <laughs> Wait, Cole, what are you doing here? Oh, she came down to Mathis last night and signed me up. Guess they didn't see the point of keeping the real star of this show off camera anymore. Oh, well, <laughs> what about the regional combine? Oh, man, what's good for you is good for me. Colt will help you get up to speed, and he can play with you in the game. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. <laughs> of course. Holy smokes. The honest to goodness Jack Ford. <laughs> if you could put the phone away. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I will leave you three to it. <laughs> he has got the hat and everything. <laughs> Take a seat. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. <clears throat> All right. I was just telling Devin here that we've got two weeks. Yeah, which is crazy. Which is reality. And we're gonna approach this like we're on a bye week. So I'm gonna give you a first-hand look on what it's like for an NFL quarterback to prepare for an opponent. hey -oh! Hate to interrupt Blue's Clues, but if you could put down your crayons. Who's he? Uh, <laughs> Colton Cruz, Mr. Fountain. Devin's best friend, we met at the combine. Oh! Right, yeah. <laughs> Full heart, bad hands, can lose. <laughs> you know that game you guys are gonna be playing? A couple guys you never heard of uh, just signed on. Dwight Freeney and Lamar Woodley. The ratings are gonna be through the roof! 
Yeah, I just talked to the old Lammer myself. He said after having a year off, uh, he's in great shape and really looking forward to punishing quarterbacks. Don't worry, we're gonna smoke these guys. <laughs> but it, you know, it shouldn't be a problem for uh, Devin, you know, with all the reading that you guys have been doing. If you're finished, we're gonna get back to work. Okay, okay, go in. Let's get to work. We're gonna be ready. Okay, Devin. I feel like we made some strides early, but things started to fall apart when we got to the matchups and the adjustments you need to make. It's just so much being thrown at me at once. I mean, one minute I'm calling plays, the next I got five seconds to look up every matchup on the field. I, I can't do it. I... Yes, you can. Hey, listen. I'm here, buddy. I'm gonna help old Jack here figure out a way to get through to you. <laughs> when have I ever let you down? Yeah. All right, let's go back to matchups. And this time we're gonna factor in down and distance, which you admittedly struggled with at UT. Yeah. All right, second and one at midfield, tied in the fourth quarter. What's the defense expect us to do here? Uh, throws with the high receiver? Nah, V. Why would they be expecting that? It's second and one. They think you're going to run it, pick up the first down. 99% of teams out there would do that in this situation. Huh. So now that we know that they're expecting us to run, what can we do to exploit that? Throw, throw a pass? Are you sure? Yeah, it'd be the perfect time to hit him with a play-action pass. Yeah, see, you line up in a formation that teams run out of all the time, so the defense won't be expecting it. You can fake the run, hit him for a big gain on that pass play. Okay. Your key here is the safety. Yes, no? I... Oh, I got this easy. Right there. No. Oh. No. Okay, Dev, is this Sky or Buzz? Sky or Buzz, Dev? Oh, I don't know. Look, I don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to know. Because you're... You just do, Dev. Come on. I, uh... I gotta go. Wait, I thought we were going to dinner. We'll get it tomorrow. Man. I don't freaking know. That doesn't even make any sense. Hey, Coach. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. 